Hi there, this is a an unboxing and setup video of the Thrustmaster TSPC racer wheel. It's part of the T series of wheels where you can change the rim, you can uh, use different pedal types. It's um, quite an adaptable piece of technology. So the TSPC on the inside seems very, very, very similar to the uh, TSXW, which is also uh, usable on Xbox. But the TSPC, as the, the name suggests, is obviously only a PC steering wheel. Um, just some basic suggestions on the outside of the box here of other things you can add to it. Uh, feel free to pause and obviously go back or anything if you wanted to read any of the text on the box. But uh, opening it up here. Difficult with one hand, obviously, all of this while recording. But you can see the top layer here. We have the manual, which usually doesn't contain that much useful information. Uh, warning cards. have a uh, like a dust bag or a protective bag for the wheel rim which comes with this wheel which is a fantastic open wheel uh, rim this is uh, the lower end of the clamp for attaching it to a desk this is a power cable this is a USB cable Uh, this is the wheel rim, which, like I said, it's um, an open wheel rim. And I actually prefer this one uh, by a long way to the uh, Ferrari F1 add-on, which is based on the 2012 uh, Ferrari F1 wheel. Oops, forgot to take something out of the top layer, which was another part of the clamp. Moving down to the bottom layer now, you can see uh, this is the power pack shaped like a turbo, like uh, I think all of the T-Series wheels are. And obviously couldn't get the base out with one hand, so here we are. So I think as far as feel, um, these TS wheels, the TSXW, the TSPC, I really feel they're about as good as it gets um, before direct drive. They're, uh, they're that good. And um, a lot of the rims you can get are just absolutely gorgeous. You can get uh, some very nice one-to-one uh, -one replicas of real, uh, real racing car wheels. So you can see there's a notch in the middle, um, and then this obviously screws around something. And there's a hole there where this, uh, this screw goes in. Let me show you first how the steering wheel rim obviously has the, the same notch. So basically you need to make sure that you get the steering wheel so that it goes on with the notch in the right place. And um, that screw hole there, you'll notice there actually, there's actually an indent on the steering wheel for it in a moment. Just pushing the rim on the correct way around. And you can see the indent on the steering wheel's column. But obviously the one on the wheel base is in the wrong place. That's because you still need to screw it onto the wheel, which is... Uh, you can see happening there. And then you just need to make sure that the screw hole gets around to where the little indent on the bottom of the, um, the wheel rim was. And then a little bit difficult with one hand to screw this in, so I'm probably going to skip this. Uh, 
And there we go. The screw is fully in and turning the wheel back round because the screw is on the bottom. Uh, you can see that the wheel is now mounted to the base. So last thing here is to set up the clamp and um, how it works is basically that bit goes against the edge of the desk and the clamp obviously uh, grips on the underside and in order for it to grip you put this bolt through here and put it into the wheelbase and obviously the more you tighten it the more tight it uh, grips to the desk. Uh, make sure not to over tighten it, you don't want to damage it. It is a plastic clamp after all. But uh, this is your wheel fully set up. Just plug in those cables, the only place they will go, and you are all set. Uh, pedals there, shifter, power, and USB.